What's up, world? My name is Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I got a little surprise playlist for you guys. This playlist, possibly the most fun playlist on my entire channel, is going to be replicating popular user interfaces in Swift UI. So we're going to take popular social media apps, and then we're going to build them in Swift UI. We're not going to build the full app. We're not going to worry about all the architecture, or all the data layers, the data persistence. We're just gonna build the Swift UI, the screens for the app. And it's gonna be so much fun. Why is it gonna be fun? Well, because almost all of the playlists on my channel have been bootcamp style content. But I spend a lot of time in those videos slowly going through the steps to make sure that I'm not missing anything and you guys are not getting lost or confused. And to do that, I have to move at like a really slow pace, like a 50% speed. But in this playlist, this is gonna be more of an intermediate playlist. So for somebody who already knows how to use Swift UI and wants some practice for actually building complex user interfaces. And so because of that, we're not actually learning new concepts in this playlist. We're just gonna take everything that we know, our whole knowledge of Swift UI, and try implementing a bunch of popular complex user interfaces. And so normally I'm moving at like 50% speed. In this playlist, we're gonna go closer to like an 80% speed. So I'm gonna still try to explain what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna take the time to explain every single keyword. I'm gonna assume that you guys have a little bit of experience in Swift UI and can keep a little bit of a faster pace. We're gonna mimic some of the most popular apps and do it in Swift UI. The first app we're gonna do is Spotify that we are going to try to copy in pure Swift UI code. We're also gonna look at a bunch of other apps such as Bumble and Netflix who also have really good user interface. Because we're moving at 80% speed, I'm gonna be using some third-party frameworks as well. So for example, I'm going to use SD Web Image to download images. I'm gonna use my personal routing and UI frameworks. All of the frameworks that I'm using in this playlist, I have previously covered on the channel. So if you wanna know how to use one of these frameworks before this playlist, check out the third-party frameworks playlist on my channel. I've purposely done that playlist before this one so that in this one, we can move a little bit faster. A lot of these interfaces have micro animations and we're gonna spend the time to actually build all of those animations. So I'm labeling this playlist as Swift UI in practice because it's one thing to learn all of these concepts, right? But realistically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, you're gonna get a job as an iOS engineer, you're gonna have a UI team and the UI team is gonna say, hey, build this screen. And when they tell you to build this screen, it's not like you're gonna be able to pick and choose like what components to use. Maybe I'll make this trade off. Maybe I'll make that trade off because something's not working. Instead, you're gonna have to build it to design. So whatever is in the Figma, whatever the design and product team told you to build, you're gonna have to build. And one way to test your skills of doing that is quite literally to take a popular app such as Spotify and try to rebuild it yourself. So in this series, we're gonna rebuild a bunch of different screens. And as we go, and as we go, I'm gonna actually be pointing out places where you can pause and try to build a component yourself so that you're maybe a step ahead of me even in this series. And my hope is that that's gonna help a lot of you guys actually get practice in trying to build something yourself, then seeing how I would do it, compare the two, and this way you're actively learning and being able to build these on your own. So, Go grab a coffee. I'm gonna make 100 coffees because there's a lot of code that we're gonna write. And we're also gonna move at 80 to 90% speed here. So we're gonna move a little bit faster, but it's gonna be a lot of fun because I think you guys are gonna actually start to see now how I would actually build these apps in my projects. Because again, normally we're doing boot camps. I'm kind of making caveats. Now we're just going straight into it and we're building some beautiful user interfaces. Let's jump into Xcode and start building.